Calvin Castan at Northeastern Clinton Central School. <coughs> We're starting the second half in a fairly close ball game, four point ball game. 23 19 is the score. <coughs> Northern Adirondack visiting Northeastern Clinton on January 10th, 2007. And uh, we arrived just as the first half was ending. We had the bowling at the Bowmart to cover first. PHS visiting Northeastern. And they sure took their time. Let's see, 21, that's uh, Peter Patterson. Thought he was on the varsity, oh well. Uh, let's see. Shot from Sample. Tried to save it, but Tatro puts it in. Northern Adirondack visiting the Cougars on a cold day in January, the coldest day of this winter. And a pretty good wind chill out there. 14 reports in. That's uh, Tyler Smith. All intended, I think, for Lajway, 25. We, uh, as I said, arrived at halftime, picked up the uh, program from the desk as you were by your tickets. <clears throat> Saw that there was a, a Bobcat list in there, so I didn't pay much attention to it. You got up here and it got to be about five minutes before the half was scheduled to start. And, uh, said, uh, let's take a look at the uh, Bobcat names. <coughs> well, the names are there, but no numbers, so Bobcat sent the names, but they didn't send any numbers. So we uh, thought we'd check the program we got in December in uh, Ellenberg at the Bobcat shootout. They had the JV cheerleaders, varsity cheerleaders, both of them listed. <coughs> varsity boys basketball, but no list of the JV boys basketball team. So the program they handed out had the cheerleaders, JV cheerleaders in it, but didn't have the JV boys basketball team in it. So we got a couple of uh, friendly fans to uh, fill in the numbers for us. Unfortunately, the names are listed uh, kind of alphabetically, and the numbers are in all different orders. So we can't glance at our sheet. Normally, we put down a list in numerical order so we can make a quick referral to it. Called double dribble. Have good into plus uh, to uh, sample. Have good over to plus on. Laid in by uh, Casey Lamberton. Red Bosley also on the field along with Tetro. On the floor, I should say, not the field. Well, inbounded by Patterson, comes deep, or Peters, yeah, Patterson to uh, 14 Smith. Now to uh, 20 Lavalley. Shot put up from the outside. Rebounded by Bosley. Sample will bring it up. Half good. Double dribble. Lavalley inbounds to Smith. <clears throat> Let's see, Patterson, and we've got the Klein Bell, and who else is out there? 15, Drake. All comes to Drake.
Cats keep it moving. Cats coat by uh, Nate Bilo. Cougars by Jerry Davison. Chris is the first. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, 22 in for the Cats. It's uh, Siskavich, Nate, uh, Nate Siskavich. And for the Cougars, uh, Randy Grimshaw. <clears throat> Rebounded by Tetro, gives it to Hapgood. 29 19. Cougars have stretched that four point lead out to 10. With 421 showing. Petro lays it up and in. Cougars with the full court pressure. Rimshaw tries to bring it back for the Cougars, but ball was knocked loose. And we're going to have a foul. A push. Tyler Smith at the line. Foul on, uh, on Bosley was his third. Now you got Velasco in. <clears throat> Lamberton will bring it up for the Cougars. 31 20. Rimshaw out to Poisson. Travel. Yeah. The Valley inbounds. <coughs> Gets it to Patterson. Cougars in a 3-2 defense. Cougars take it away, Velasco. Is it to uh, Lamberton over to Poisson? Velasco puts it to the floor. Off the glass, pretty shot for the Spaniard. From the top of the key, top of the uh, three-point arc, a shot taken by Patterson, rebounded Velasco. Poisson brings it up. 33-20 Cougars. The Cougars have outscored Northern Adirondack 10-1 since we put the camera on. Uh, sub in for the Cats, Anthony Boris. Uh, we noticed that uh, Lajway's back in also. Josh Lajway stolen. And laid in by Poisson. 35 20. Cougars showing great hustle. Bosley slides in there. But we're sliding in there too. Patterson inbounds. It's it to Lavalle. Throws it hard off the shoulder of Lajoy. No baskets to travel, says Jim Karen. On a cold, bitter night, the crowd. Starting to trickle in. Even though it's Cougars and Bobcats, uh, it's not uh, considered to be a particularly big battle tonight. In the corner, 
a two-pointer by Patterson. 35-22, 1.27 on the clock. Velasco runs into the defense, pushes it out to Poisson. They go back to Velasco and we have a foul. Velasco throws it up, rebounded by Bosley. Oh, going down hard. Cats were fighting amongst themselves. Velasco was off to the side. Bobcats were fighting for the ball with each other. 35-22. Grimshaw will inbound it. Shot by Grimshaw is good on that. Grimshaw makes it a 15-point Cougar lead. A little under a minute now to go in the third period. Cougars knock it out of bounds. Patterson inbound. Rejected by Bosley on a shot attempt by Kleinbell. And the Cats get it back and they score. Well, I was looking up Kleinbell's name. Somebody put it in, so I can't... Uh, Cannot tell you who put it in, but somebody for the Cats did. I hope you were watching because I was looking at the roster. Oh, we could hear that up here. Should be on uh, number 20, uh, Lavallee. Bosley at the line. 32 and a half remaining in the third. 38, 24, Cougars. <coughs> Ball pushed up to Lavalley. Velasco takes it away. Throws it up for Poisson and misses it. Foul on Poisson, his second. Team, team fourth. Come up with the ball. And Patterson hits. 38-26. So it's 15 in that period for the Cougars and uh, seven for the Bobcats. Bobcats will toss it in to, as soon as we get the baby bottle off the floor. <laughs> Keep all infants and their bottles off the floor, please, during the course of the game. In the paint, just off, throws it up, short. Velasco, close two, we got 43, who's that? Who's 43? Richie Collins. And for the Cougars. Over to Tatro. Patterson knocks it loose. Ball picked up by Klein Bell. Ball comes low, pushed back outside, three-point attempt, rolls off the rim, the shot taken by Lavalley. And a green timeout. Velasco knocks it loose. Cats get it back, put up and in. 
Tyler Smith. 38-28, 10 point difference. 7.01 to go. Emerson gives to Tatro. The Cats in a man to man defense. Stolen by LaValle in a basket. Collins gives to Lambert and we have a kick. Half <coughs> did a inbound. Sample back in. Now oh, Bosley back in. Hop good to throw it in. Send into Lamberton over to Sample. 624 to go. Casey Manor in now for the Cougars. Number 45 in your program. There he is. by Patterson. Rebound put up and in by Smith. Fourth foul on Bosley. It's a six point game right now, 38-32. Ball squirts out and look out. Again, the Bobcats are bouncing off each other, and this time somebody gets hurt. They're bouncing off each other. Smith comes out, a little shook up. Half good will inbound. Gets it into Lamberton. Sample back to Lamberton. Green ball. Shot put up by Patterson. And taken away. And in by Josh Lajway. It's a 38-34 ball game. Four point game with 5-10 to go. Cats have battled back. Twelve on the shot clock. Lamberton throws it up. Tatro's there for the putback. And Bosley is fouled out. Patterson will shoot a one and one if he hits them both. It's a two-point game, and Bosley's on the bench for the Cougars. It's a four-point game, but Patterson gets the ball. Falls off the rim. Velasco kept it in bounds, picked up by uh, Lajway. Pushes it outside to Drake. Kleinbell called for the three second violation. Four and a half to go in the game. Lamberton right in the hands of uh, Smith. Basket counts. And now Sample has fouled out for the Cougars. So the Cougars have two starters fouled out. They're leading by two with 4.27 remaining. 21 stepped in the lane. Violation. Patterson takes the ball out of the hands of uh, Smith. So no foul shot. It remains a two-point difference with 4.27 to go. Velasco down for Tetro. Petro started running toward the hoop before he had the ball. Pass was high, but he had it to control, and he just uh, got over anxious to run toward the hoop. That three-pointer would have uh, given the Cats the lead. 
A foul, I guess. All right, let's this Drake get the line. This is the one and one. Patterson gets it. Thrown in by Kleinbell. We're tied, 38 all. Four minutes to go. Good and the Velasco tries to go back to Poisson, taking away Patterson, misses the shot. Velasco knocks it loose. Feinbell pushes it out to Lajoy, out to uh, to uh, Smith. Well, Poisson picks up his third foul, team tenth. Cougars have ten. Double bonus. Bobcats take the lead, 39-38. It sure looked like the Cougars were going to run away with this in the third. Cats have a two-point lead. Hapgood gives to Lamberton. Reach. Sixth team foul. So not, not in the bonus yet. Lamberton, 12 on the shot clock. Cougars are down by a deuce. 310 to go. Travel. Last way back in. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, Randy Lajway. Both teams have a Lajway here. I had me confused. Lajway back in for the Cougars. From the Key, Patterson banks it in. It's a four point Bobcat lead. Josh Lajway picks up his third foul, sends Randy Lajway to the charity stripe. His team down by four, 246 remaining in the game. One and one is missed. Bobcat ball. Inbound it to their goal two man, Patterson. Oh, way too strong. Velasco takes it away up for Grimshaw. Did I say Grimshaw? Randy Grimshaw, not Randy Lajway. 13 is Grimshaw. That's what I get for not looking at my list here. Randy Grimshaw is 13. I'll say it one more time. Grimshaw, not Lajway. Probably no relation to Randy Lajway in Altona. Although Josh Lajway probably is. Tetro at the line. Cougars not helping themselves at the foul line. And this is them both. 2.14 remaining. 42-38. Bobcats lead. Lamberton shooting. Two. Well, Cougars have missed four foul shots in a row. One of them was a start, was a one and one, so that's five in a row. That plus the front of the one and one in there, so that's six potential points they missed at the foul line. Banked in. 
Very nicely, I might add, by Nate Kuskavich. A six point lead for the Cats. Velasco shooting. It's 148 on the clock. Takes an exchange student to make a foul shot, I guess. So it's a one out of uh, seven that the Cougars are from the foul line and they're trailing by five. So you do the math. One out of seven in the last minute or so. Nicola Valley shooting two. Yeah. Minute 32 remaining. Hits them both. 46 39, seven point lead for the Cats. Ball comes to Tatro. Could have, could have been a traveling, it's thrown out of bounds. Threw it behind Hapkin. Cats don't have to shoot here. They have the lead. It should be taking some time off the clock. Velasco pulls it down off the shot by Patterson. 107 to go. Cats take it away. Velasco in the paint. Shooting two. Fouls on Drake, his first. <laughs> Cougars, terrible from the foul line. Forty-eight and a half seconds. Seven point lead for the Cats. Cougars have 39. I'm trying to think if they had 38 to start the fourth. It wasn't 38, it was pretty close to it. See, they scored 15, yep, they had 38. They scored one point here in the fourth quarter. One for at least nine, maybe more, from the foul line. Got the basket. Looking for the three-point play. 21.2 on the clock. We finally hit another one from the foul line. That is 46 to 42, four point difference of 20.8 on the clock. However, Spider-Man is shooting two. Get the rebound, Let's go. Rebounded by Lamberton. Velasco. Who was up to shoot quick? Grimshaw puts it up and in. A one point game, 10 seconds. Grimshaw fouls. There's the score, 46-45. There's the time, 6.8. And those are the cheerleaders. Smith will shoot. If you're the Cougars, you want him to make the second foul shot. If he makes the first, it'll be a two-point difference. If he makes the second, it'll be a three-point difference. But you want, no matter what he does on that first one, you want him to make the second one. If he makes the second one, Cougars will get the ball out of bounds. The clock won't start. He misses it. The clock will start as soon as it's touched on the scramble for the rebound. So the Cougars down by one might just well be down by two and have an easy chance at the ball. They call a quick timeout. They take a second off the clock. They throw with the rebound, 46-45, 5.8 to go.
Bobcats will press, but if they foul the Cougars, Cougars will go to the line for two. They trail by one. So the Bobcats have to bother the Cougars, but not foul them. Otherwise, the Cougars have a chance to win it at the foul line. Three seconds. Bobcats win. Lamberton's shot rolls off the rim. 46-45 is the final. Come from behind victory for Northern Adirondack, defeating Northeastern. That's the way it was. Junior Varsity Boys Basketball, January 10th, 2007. Thanks for watching and for those of you supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw TV worthy of your support.